Have you heard of sickle disease? Despite being considered a rare disease, the National Institutes of Health reporting the condition affects more than 100,000 people in the U.S. and 20 million people worldwide. But in a move that could offer relief to thousands of people, Britain's medicines regulator has now authorized the world's first gene therapy treatment for sickle cell disease, making it the world's first therapy built on the revolutionary gene editing technology and ushering in a new era. Our next report getting you the complete story. The United Kingdom's drug regulator has approved the world's first gene therapy treatment for sickle cell disease and beta thalassemia. After rigorous testing on safety, quality and effectiveness, Britain's Medicines and Healthcare Products Regulatory Agency authorized the world's first gene therapy that will work to treat sickle cell disease as well as beta thalassemia in patients aged 12 and above. The UK drug regulator said that its decision to authorize the gene therapy for sickle cell disease was based on a study done on 29 patients of whom 28 reported having no severe pain problems for at least one year after being treated. In the study of thalassemia, 39 out of 42 patients who got the therapy did not need a red blood cell transfusion for at least a year after the treatment. The authorization of the therapy from Vertex Pharmaceuticals and CRISPR Therapeutics is itself not a surprise. Clinical trials have shown the one-time treatment enabled many sickle cell patients to live free of debilitating pain crisis and relieved thalassemia patients of needing regular blood transfusion, raising hope that they have been effectively cured. But it also stands as a major achievement, coming just over a decade after the first and seminal lab experiments showing that CRISPR's potential as a gene editing tool were published. Both sickle cell disease and thalassemia are caused by mistakes in the genes that carry hemoglobin, the protein in red blood cells that carries oxygen. In people with sickle cell, which is particularly common in people with African or Caribbean heritage, a genetic mutation causes the cells to become crescent-shaped, which can block blood flow and causes excruciating pain, organ damage, stroke and other problems. In people with thalassemia, the genetic mutation can cause severe anemia. Patients typically require blood transfusion every few weeks and injections and medicines for their entire life. The new medicine, Cascavi, works by targeting the problematic gene in a patient's bone marrow stem cells so that the body can make properly functioning hemoglobin. Patients first receive a course of chemotherapy before doctors take stem cells from the patient's bone marrow and use genetic editing techniques in a laboratory to fix the gene. The cells are then infused back into the patient for a permanent treatment. Gene therapy treatments can cost millions of dollars and experts have previously raised concerns that they could remain out of reach for the people who would benefit the most. Just last year, Britain approved gene therapy for a fatal genetic disorder that had a list price of 2.8 million euros, which is roughly about 3.5 million dollars. Cascavi is currently being reviewed by US Food and Drug Administration. The agency is expected to make a decision early next month before considering another sickle cell gene therapy. Millions of people around the world, including about 100,000 in the US, have sickle cell disease. It occurs more often among people from places where malaria is or was common and is also more common in certain ethnic groups such as people of African, Middle Eastern and Indian descent. Scientists believe being a carrier of the sickle cell trait helps protect against severe malaria. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the updates on the move.